Good Thursday morning, everyone. I'm Intisar Faulkner in the WIS First Alert News Center bringing you what's new this morning. One of our top stories that we are following this morning is out of Bamberg County. SLED is leading an investigation working to find 25 year old Megan Bodiford, who authorities say is missing and could possibly be in danger. On Tuesday, human remains were discovered off of Turnray Road in Denmark with friends and family now fearing the worst. The remains were found two miles away from her last known location, according to an incident report provided by the Bamberg County Sheriff's Office, Bodiford told a friend she was worried that her boyfriend might kill her. The body has not yet been positively identified. That lunch was really good. You know, it really was, but I'm just kind of feeling a little itchy and I'm not really sure. There's a test for that. Choose your test, choose your time, get your answer. Call 803-769-8100 or go to anylabtestnow.com. Continuing coverage out of Charlotte, North Carolina this week, an outpour of love, hope and a community coming together after that tragedy in East Charlotte. President Joe Biden is expected to be in Charlotte today after the deadly shootout, leaving four officers dead and injuring four others. The suspect, Terry Hughes Jr., was also shot and killed during that incident. Reports state the president will meet with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department today, along with the families of those fallen heroes. Also, be sure to mark your calendars as we're just a few days away from Midlands Gives Day. The event is on May 7th, but early giving is now open. The day is an 18 hour online giving challenge, allowing people to donate to more than 540 local nonprofits. Since 2014, Midlands Gives has raised millions of dollars for hundreds of local nonprofits in the area. You can find out more information on the day next week, as well as the latest traffic news and weather updates by heading to our website at WIS tv.com